Hey there, this is a tutorial for my attach point tool. Using that tool, you can create attach points on the frames of your sprites and then attach an object there. You can get the tool from itch.io, there's a link in the description. So let's begin. Here I've made a new project for testing the tool. We're gonna be making the attach points on this sprite. So here the player needs to be holding a hammer. So we have the hammer sprite here. The origin is set at the point where the player will be holding it. So here we have objects for the player and the hammer. There are also players inside the room. So now let's see how we can attach the hammer to the player's hand. So I'll open the attach point tool. So this is the attach point tool. Here we have a few buttons, a few checkboxes and a workspace. So first of all, I'm gonna click here to load my sprite sheet. So I'm gonna load this horizontal sprite sheet. Then you need to enter the number of frames in your sprite sheet. Now you can see the frames in the workspace. Here I'm using the middle mouse button to pan around. Now you can start placing the attach points. So you can modify the position with the left mouse button and the angle with the right mouse button. Now you can middle click on a frame to focus on it. You can also use the arrow keys to navigate the frames. Now here my fourth frame is the same as my first frame. So here I can simply copy the attach point of the first frame and paste it in the fourth frame. Now I'm gonna do the rest of the frames. Now the last three frames are the exact same. So I'll do the first one and simply copy paste it in the last two frames. So now the attach points are ready. Now you can also place a sprite on the attach points as a preview. So I'll enable it and then load a preview sprite. I'm gonna load the hammer sprite. Now in this window, you can set the origin of the preview sprite. Then you can hit OK and the preview sprite will appear on the attach points. So then you can adjust it. Now before exporting the attach points, make sure to check the origin here. The attach point coordinates will be relative to either the middle center point of the sprite or the top left corner. In the project, the sprite's origin is set to middle center, so we'll be using that. So I'll set this to middle center. And now we can export the code. So I'll click here. Here you can enter the name of the state or anything to identify this animation. So I'll simply enter hammer. And now the code has been copied to the clipboard. Now I'll go into the project and open our player. Here I'll add the create event. Inside it, I'll paste the exported code. This is the main array that stores the data for all the sprites. Since we only loaded one sprite sheet, it has only one element. That element is an array. The array stores the attach point info for every frame in arrays. So this array is for the first frame, this one is for the second frame and so on. Now inside an array, we have the x, the y and the angle of an attach point. Now we want to store this array for later use since here it's only a local variable. So at the end I'll type this. The array for the first sprite, the only one that we have, will be stored in this variable. Now for the animation, I'll add the step event. Here I'll add this. Here we are getting the array for the current frame. So the image index is floored here. Then it gets the array element for that frame. Now here we are changing some properties of the hammer instance. So the first element of the array added to the player's x is applied to the hammer's x. Then the same is done for the y which is in the second element. And the image angle of the hammer is set to the third element which is the angle. So let's run the game. And you can see the animation here. Now let me tell you about some more features in the tool. First let's talk about the load points button. First of all I'm gonna reload the sprite sheet. Now you can see that all of the attach points have been reset. 
So to restore the attached points, you can click on the load points button. Here you can enter the name that you used while exporting the code. So I'll write hammer. Now you can hit OK and the attached points will be loaded. So they are only saved when you export the code. Now you can also load multiple sprites into the tool. So if you have a game with separate sprites for each direction, then you can use this feature. So I'll click here to load some sprites. I'm gonna load the walking animation for all four directions. So we have down, left, right and up. So I load them in. And they are now loaded. I'll also disable the preview. Now in Game Maker, directions start from the right and then they go up from there. So these numbers converted into degrees would be 0, 90, 180 and 270. So you have right, up, left and down. So the sprites need to be arranged in that order. You can do that with this button. So I'll place them in the correct order. Now I'll change the absolute angles to relative. So now the angles of the attached points will be relative to the directions. Now I'll export the code. I'll simply name it walk. I'll just paste it here. Now the code's gonna contain separate arrays for the separate sprites. So they're all contained inside this main array. You can check out the attach point tool through the link in the description. You can also check out my other game maker tutorials and subscribe to stay updated. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.